Hello party people! Um, this is Reading Slope and today will be the first one of my monthly notables uh, and this will be July's monthly notables. I was going to do this for each month and I might go backwards. I might sort of do July and then I might do June and then I might do April till I've sort of done all the books which I haven't talked about yet. I say all of the books, um, the notable books. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, I think I'm going to do a sort of a bad book and then a good book. I've got a couple of books that are sort of middle of the road that I'm also going to sort of pop in there. Uh, but let's start off with a disappointing book and that is In the Lives of Puppets by TJ Klune. This book is by an author which has put out two books, um, A House in the Cerulean Sea and ah, oh, don't know what the other one's called, I've totally done a mind blank, but um, I really enjoyed his other two books that have been popular and I really enjoyed those now, so I was, when he came out with this new one I was like okay I'm gonna read it, I'm probably gonna like it, but it just wasn't my vibe. It is a bit of a Pinocchio retelling and I've never vibed with Pinocchio um, and so it was a bit of a disappointment. I didn't feel the chemistry between sort of the characters. The side characters were amazing though. So like um, there's a couple robots and they were great um, but like the main character was a bit of a, a bit of a you know a nothing character to me. <laughs> uh, so you know I thought based on his tall background um, I was like well maybe I'll sort of relate to him but I didn't and so that was just a really disappointing book for me. Um, now for the opposite side a book that was not a disappointment which was a pleasant surprise was The Dragon Reborn book three in the Wheel of Time. Book two was a lot of setup. Here are the characters, here is the world, here's um, a bunch of plot threads that are going to be explored, uh, setting up, um, stuff like that. And this third book took some different paths. Um, we got to know the characters a lot more. Uh, I really enjoyed sort of just being with the characters and seeing the world and seeing what's going to happen and where it's going and so based on this third book I am pretty excited to see where the rest of the series is going to go because this one was a step up for me and so I'm now looking more forward to it than I was previously. Next up a very 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 disappointing book and that is the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels. Um, this is sort of like new adult, adult, I would say more new adult, um, but it reads really juvenile and some of the scenes are really jarring. Uh, read in the sort of writing style that it is and sort of the graphic description that sort of is in those scenes and I did not like it. Um, I didn't like the plot, didn't like the characters, um, they were very two-dimensional, uh, the villain was very moustache twirly and something like this could be really fun and light-hearted but I just couldn't get into it at all which was really disappointing based on other sort of romance books I've read in the past I thought this one is going to be exactly up my street and it was not. Um, so unfortunately this was my lowest book of the month and I think maybe one of my lowest books for the year. Um, I will be getting rid of this at some point. Let's do a 180. A romance book that I 
loved this book one of my favorites uh ali hayes woods is definitely an author for me so far i have loved everything that she's written um and i just really connect with the characters and being a woman of stem background um it's nice to sort of have a character who is like that and i'm like oh i can see myself in this character um she's a bit nerdy uh reads well watches twilight and i was in the twilight sort of not fandom i wasn't like obsessed with like the team edward team jacob thing but i read them i watched the movies and all that jazz so it's it's nice to just have a character to relate to in a romance novel and i just love this book a lot uh, and i apologize for my cat little bean um last on my disappointing reads is the book that wouldn't burn by mark lawrence i don't know if mark lawrence is a an author for me so far all of his books have been like four star i like the world the writing is not good but not terrible it's very middle-ish i'm just i feel like i'm always waiting for something exciting to happen or to connect to the characters and it just doesn't quite hit um again nothing wrong with it it's about four stars um i'm just waiting for them to blow me away and they never do and then last but not least the book everyone's been talking about recently fourth wing i am one of those people i could not put it down i picked it up and i was like flipping through the pages i have to i had to keep going find out what happened next maybe it's a little bit predictable Maybe it's not the best writing, but it is like a really good time. It's like those shows on TV where you know it's not The Godfather, but it's a fun time, it's entertaining, and you are going to enjoy watching it. And so this is the book equivalent of that. You are going to enjoy reading it. It's got dragons, it's got an enemy to love as a romance, and I had a great time time um and this is going to be a contender for one of my best books of the year and the sequel is coming out in like i think november so maybe that might be a contender for the best book of the year i'm definitely going to be pre-ordering it and definitely going to be reading it as soon as it comes out bumping everything off my tbr um if you haven't read this yet and if you like Akatar, like the second book especially, then you'll like this. Um, and, you know, just get on it. Get on it. <laughs> um, but that is, that is my notable books for July. I hope you enjoyed this sort of format and let me know if you have any strong opinions about any of these books or anything that you read in July. I'll see you in the next video.